I lead a really busy life. I work as a translator and analyst for a business intelligence company. And on top of that, I'm managing my MS. I'm managing the other conditions that I live with. To have taken part in the trials that I have been offered, it would have involved basically too much travel, too much time, too much burden on my family because I rely very heavily on my parents, particularly if I need to be taken to places. There's no point in taking part in something which is then potentially going to make you feel exhausted or you know it's going to have a burden on your finances and i think that's one of the things that makes it so exciting working in the area of decentralized trials is that both we ask patients what they want yeah. but we can use technology to make sure. patients lives easier things like sensors for example sure. where patients don't have to actively go and have a test they just wear a watch for yeah. example an actigraphy device or we can use video calls with site stuff so you yeah. don't have to spend all that time traveling decentralised trials I think will really help to improve the patient recruitment and, and most importantly as well the retention of the patients that enrol onto studies. You've raised a really good point there because it's one thing getting somebody to take part in a trial in the first place but it's something completely different to keep them in the trial. It's a partnership between the medical research organisations and the patients themselves. From my understanding there can be trials where everything is very virtual and technological but then there's others which aren't so much. Is it possible to have a mixture of the two or does it have to be one or the other? There's basically a spectrum um, of long how virtual you want to make a trial. So traditional is obviously at one end, fully virtual or fully decentralised is at the other end yeah. and that's when the patient never even pops a toe into a site, everything's done for them in the home and then you've got different shades in between and we take a look at what physically has to be done at the site, so an MRI scan or a lumbar puncture needs to be done at site. Some of the simpler things can be done at home, so questionnaires and uh, blood draws, that kind of thing, the patient doesn't need to come into the site for it. So I think the site staff are really keen to learn and adopt these technologies because the accuracy of the data that is captured is much better now than in the past. I know you've said that fitting a traditional clinical trial into your life could be quite challenging, but if some of that could be done in the home, do you think that that would enable you to maybe take part in a trial? Definitely, definitely. Because I could just say, okay, you know, the nurse is going to come at 10 o'clock. I could say to my boss, okay, between 10 and 10.15, you won't see me online. And it would mean that I could spend more time with my parents in a way that isn't just about the caring aspect, it's about allowing me and my family to live our lives the way we want to live them.